late night fee Yo dick, got the HIV My dick, play some of the double features What's up everybody? Pal702 Back today with another MCM review And today we are going to be going over a 30mm mech tube Now this mech tube is not designed or manufactured by MCM But MCM does stock it You don't speak to me Ever. Let's make that clear right off the jump. 30 millimeter tube, it takes 18650s, it takes 2700s, 2700s, 26650s, it takes pretty much everything. You fucking tree hugger? So uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around what's inside of this little pouch right here. We're gonna throw a build in a 30 millimeter RDA. I only have two, so it's either gonna be the Buddha or the MCM King. I think we'll go with the king. Definitely some good music. Pop back up. Pros and cons. You know how we do it. All right, so sticking with the 30 millimeter theme from last week, this Monday we have a 30 millimeter mech tube called The Ox by Fog Monsters. They are a Filipino made and manufactured. And this right here is the 30 millimeter ox. Now you can see it is a stainless steel tube. It has brass ends. It has a removable hybrid connection up top here. This was all brass and brass down here with your button. Just starting off, we'll go over the measurements on this guy. So in length, we're just gonna call that 90 millimeters. And in circumference, circumference we're looking at uh, 30.5 millimeters. So just looking at the aesthetics of the tube, it does have some nice engraving down here, kind of like a, I don't know if that's tribal or what, but it goes all around the tube. It is engraved pretty deep, so it, it does give you a little traction right there. And then you have like a bowl skull with, I don't, I don't even know if that's a bowl. I don't know what the fuck that is, but. <laughs> Marjorie just told me it's a fucking ox. Imagine that. <laughs> I was gonna get into some like satanic stuff, but uh, no, I guess they just totally fucking put the kibosh on that one by calling it the ox and putting a fucking ox skull up there. So that's an ox skull right there, guys. Oh. Nothing on the back of this. There'll be no directions with this. This is a fully mechanical mod, so you better know your own safety, your battery safety, and uh, all of that good stuff. Top piece is pretty cool. You actually get two of these guys. So let's unthread this right here. You can see inside the tube, very nice threading. This is stainless steel. And on this hybrid connection now, you can see also once again, good threading. This is solid brass. Up top right here, you have a couple of ventilation holes right there. And then on the inside of this guy, you'll see you'll have a little bit of a, a Delrin piece right there for your battery. Now, the cool thing about this tube, it comes with two top caps. So from the top, they both look pretty much, yeah, they're identical, but if you look at the size of these guys, you can see this guy right here, it's uh, it's like deep dish. See how deep that sinks in? And this one right here is lower profile. This is so, with this guy in right here, this will run your 2700s and your 21700s. With this guy, the shorter one, this is gonna run your 18650s and your 26650. So you can see, how much further that threads in and how much shorter it makes the tube. As a matter of fact, with this top cap on, it's not really a top cap, it's hybrid connection. But with this sucker on, you are at about eh, 84 and a half millimeters, basically five millimeters shorter than with this right here, which would pretty much make sense on the length of the battery itself. So you got these two different hybrid connections to accommodate different battery sizes, different battery lengths. The switch on the bottom, let's go over the switch. There's always make or break. Threading, once again, no problems with the threading whatsoever. 
threading on the actual tube itself. Very nice. Now the switch here, this is, it's an internal magnet switch, which means I'm not gonna fucking take it apart because this will turn a 15 to 20 minute review into like an hour review. Okay, the switch itself, it's just two pieces. This is like a solid piece of copper. And then this round button right here, this is a solid piece of copper. And in between this piece and this piece, there are two magnets and two washers that help this retract. And to get it out, you just simply push this switch and then you turn this counterclockwise and this Delrin piece right here will come out and then this part will pop off and then your magnets will go flying everywhere and then you'll spend, if you're me, you'll spend like 30 minutes trying to get the fucking magnets in there and then you'll put them in the wrong way and then your button quit making contact. It's just one of the reasons why I prefer springs over magnets. That's just, you know, my opinion, man. I'm not gonna take this apart, but it's very simple. I mean, this is literally one piece and you can see this, this adjusts for battery rattle. This is one piece, this copper guy here, this is one piece, and this is one piece right here. And they're joined by magnets, and this inner Delrin sleeve right here, this just unscrews right there. This is one of those contacts where if you're screwing it down, it's not going to drive your battery up into the bottom of your 510 pin. All that adjustment right there on it. So the actual switch right here engages internally. This is always in contact with your battery. So as you can see, I haven't even cleaned this contact. I've been using this for a couple weeks and that's what it looks like. I mean, it's not uh, dirty and super arced out or anything like that. I mean, that's exactly what it looked like. I didn't clean this switch. I try to wipe down the rest of it. Now on the bottom of the switch, you will see right there, Fog Monsters, serial number 432. And this symbol right here, God, I wanna say in Japanese, it means Nama. I think it means natural. I'm almost positive this means natural. I haven't looked it up, I haven't Googled it. Marjorie is going to correct me in the edit, but for some reason I remember Nama Biru Onagashimasu, which like any anytime beer was on tap, there was like this symbol that looked just like this and it meant natural. Like when you order Nama Biru, you're, you're asking for beer out of the tap. Nama Biru. And then another word for those of you that are fluent in Japanese, Nama is also, <clears throat> it refers to, how do I say it? Unprotected sex. <laughs> no raincoat, um, bareback, however you want to put it. Uh, but yeah, Nama also means uh, all natural. You know, you, you, weren't, uh, you weren't trying to prevent uh, pregnancy or anything like that. Just a fun fact. But none of that matters if I'm wrong on this. I'm about 51% sure that that's right. <laughs> About 51, so. So that is the switch that I'm not going to take apart. Inside, it's just two standard circular magnets and two washers, and there's a little, on the flip side of this, there's a little cutout, and on the flip side of this, there's a little cutout in the center, and the magnets just sandwich in there together, and you have to hold these two copper pieces together as you screw in this Delrin piece. And, and if you let it go, they just slide out and they connect to whatever. That's it though, very nice. This is solid copper. This is solid copper. You know, the switch itself is solid copper, and this is all brass right here. The barrel of the tube. There is a shot straight down, straight down the pipe right there on the ox fog monster. And that is the bottom. Now you'll see in there, this is like, it's like press fitted. I think I wanna say it's white Delrin inside there, the sleeve. Now this works for your 2700s, your 21700s. You know, it provides the right circumference to it. And even your 18650s work with this in here. The only issue is I don't have 26650s. The inner diameter of this sleeve is about 22 millimeters. So your, your 21700s fit, but if you listen, it's just, it's a little bit bigger. I know there's some other batteries or you could put a, a, another battery wrap on this and it would alleviate that, but I'm just telling you like these vape cells, once I build this thing, you're gonna hear battery rattle and it's not vertical rattle, it's actually rattle due to the circumference of this inner Delrin sleeve right here. It's just a little bit bigger than your battery. So you're not rattling this way, you know, you're, you're rattling like this. So. The connection and all that stuff's gonna be fine. It just, this will make noise with a 21700 30T rewrap vape cell. As far as a 26650, I'm guessing that this 
sleeve pops out for a 26650. You know, I've pushed on a little bit, but I don't even own a 26650, so I'm not really gonna mess with it. But the inner diameter of this tube is 26, it's like 26.2 millimeters. So I'm guessing that this comes out for the 26650, because the 26 means 26 millimeters circumference, and the 650 is the length. So you're going to use the smaller cap for your 26650 and your 18650, because they're the same length. Then you're going to use the larger cap for your 2700s and your 21700s. And once again, that's just so you can kind of see how deep that 21700 sits in there. That's about as basic of a mech tube as possible. All of the designing, the switch, you know, the hybrid top, all of that stuff, that's like, this is mech tube 101. There's nothing fancy on it, other than the fact that it is a 30 millimeter tube. Now being a fact that I only own two 30 millimeter RDAs and 25s look stupid on here in my opinion, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna rebuild the King RDA which we reviewed last week. I'll post the link right there. As you remember, we put these big fuck off uh, clean as fuck coils. They're series aliens. Obviously this is not a series stacked tube. So I'm gonna gently remove these, place these for safekeeping for later, and I'm going to put in some standard clean as fuck coils, some aliens, and I-80. Hit it. And that was the Ox. On top, we're running the 30 millimeter MCM King with a nice 0.1 clean as fuck coils up in that joint, Aliens, NI-80. Let's take it for a rip. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna do 
pros and cons. We're gonna start off with the cons, end with the pros, because around here, we always end on a positive note. No, we've gone too far. Cons on the Ox by Fog Monsters. It's not Fog Monster, it's Fog Monsters with a Z. Hey, hey, fuck you. First con on this is going to be the aforementioned battery rattle. Listen. Here. You can't get rid of it. You can't. I took this thing apart. The only way you can get rid of that is by like doing stuff that I would never recommend anyone doing with it. And that does not mean rule number 17, we. Bigger. Hello. Bye. It's got battery rattle. It just does. It never misfires with that rattle, but it's the circumference of that inner, like, I believe it's a white Delrin sleeve. It's like a little bit over 22 millimeters. So obviously a 21 millimeter circumference battery is going to have, it's gonna move. Fuck you, donuts are awesome. They're delicious. And it only goes up that far. So I think this part up here might actually really be making the noise, but it's always in contact. I've never hit this button and had it not fire. So I, I'm just left to believe that that battery rattle is circumference on that inner sleeve. And maybe with a 26650, maybe it doesn't rattle. I'm not sure. I don't have that cell, which I need to buy one. I keep saying that shit, but I'm really gonna buy one this time. And I would say my other con on this thing is going to be the switch itself. This makes me wanna burn this motherfucker down. It just feels cheap. It doesn't, it's not solid. It's kind of loose feeling. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down. It's not a bad looking switch. I mean, it's a good looking switch from taking it apart and stuff. It's solid copper, but it's just kind of, I don't know, maybe it's the magnet thing. It's been a while since I've had stuff with magnets, but the switch just, it just feels a little, little sloppy. It's not anywhere near like the Kennedy Vindicator switch or UDG switches and stuff like that. That, or even the dreamer switch it, it just it the switch feels it feels cheap pros on the ox 30 millimeter mech tube I hope you like donuts. <laughs> Let's go to work. and there's a guy's enjoy first pro is going to be by far the fact that it takes 26 650 and 21 2700s and if you wanted to an 18 650 but with 30 millimeter tube in the access to 30 to 35 amp 21700s. I don't know why you would, but if you only have an 18650, yes, you can run in this. So the wide array of batteries you can run on this is a massive pro. Next pro is going to be the fact that it hits hard. Okay, so the hitting hard thing, I hate saying it because everyone's like, hey, this hits harder than that, this hits harder than that. It has so much to do with what battery cell that you're using. Fuck that shit. How clean you keep your mechs. Huh? Uh, and your build. This, I'm gonna rephrase it. This hits like a 30 milli, or like any mech tube that can hold a 30T. So any mech tube that can hold a 30T that has a hybrid connection, it should fucking hit hard. And this, this hits, I mean, it hits hard. It's harder than a lot of 18 650s because the cell is a lot better. 30 to 35 amps versus 20 to 25 amps on most 18 650s, like the 25Rs or the Sony VTC 5As, the stuff that we use in mechanical stuff, the, the stuff that we like, you know, the higher amperage, mid-range ma type batteries. The performance on the tube, it's a pro. It is a good looking tube. And prepare to get blades. The looks on it are nice. I mean, I think the brass and the stainless steel, nice little copper switch on the bottom, but with some nice engraving and stuff on it, it's a good looking tube. And it, I don't know if it's because it's 30 millimeter, but even though it doesn't have any contour to it, it never wants to push up in my hand. It could be the weight of the cell and everything all together, but it never slides up in my hand. This guy right here is the next pro. The fact that they made an entire different hybrid connection to run shorter batteries like the 18650 or the 26650, I think that's a pretty cool way to do it. See how much higher that sits? We, we found it's like five millimeters higher. I'm sorry, what? How this one just sits super flush, so it makes the, the tube itself 85 millimeters instead of 90 millimeters. I think that's pretty cool too. And the venting on top too. You get a venting on top, not really any venting on the bottom. The venting on top, where it comes out, you can see it has, see if we can focus in on that. You can see it has grooves. It creates space underneath your RDA for the vent to go. I don't know how effective that works, but 
If it just had those two holes and it wasn't cut down, then I'd be like, well, it's not venting because it's touching the bottom of the RDA, but they created space. But overall, the simple fact that by changing out your hybrid connection, you can run uh, shorter or longer cells, that's a massive, massive pro to me. So price on the Fog Monster Ox. It's gonna be the biggest pro out of everything. I'll give you a hand. 30 fucking dollars. MCM is carrying these right now, and I believe, I don't know if this is being discontinued or if the company's going to business or whatever, <laughs> but they have a bunch of this, and they're going for 30 bucks. If you're looking for a 30 millimeter that is gonna, you know, hit like a 30 millimeter with a 30T in it, it is machined very nicely, and you don't mind the, the battery rattle, that price point, it's a no-brainer. It's like, just pick one up. $30 for a 30 millimeter mech tube that takes all those batteries. That was genius. Thank you. Thank Great you. job. You guys did it. No, it's you. I believe there are a couple sites, if you're in the US, that are selling these for 60 bucks. Even at 60 bucks for a 30 millimeter Pinoy made mech tube. I'm guessing they're factoring the shipping. Shipping, in, you know, sometimes they charge you 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks if it's Fish's Ant. They charge around that price for shipping. So 60 bucks, if you're local US, you know, 60 bucks is not, I mean, it's really cheap. When I originally got this thing, I had no fucking clue what the price was. And I, and I told myself in my head, and I think I told Fictitious too when we were talking. I've been craving burgers too, fur burgers. If this tube is more than $100, then I'm gonna fucking murder it. And then I pleasantly found out that MCM is charging $30 plus shipping and other places that are stocking this appear to be selling it for 60 bucks. Not the nicest mech tube in the world, but it does hold a 30 millimeter atomizer in every single battery cell that you have. So that is it. That is all that I have for you on the Fog Monster Ox. Uh, please, I, I really need to go. Pinoy made 30 millimeter mech tube. So. I do not know what's going on out in your world today. <sighs> oh, hit. <laughs> However, I do know that it's Mondays. It's MCM Mondays, kind of. But it's still MCM Mondays. You got the fucking badass intro. Let's start this week off right. I know you guys are hitting the grind right now. I'm probably just waking up, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on in my world. But what I do know is that around here, on my Fog Monsters 30 millimeter mech tube with the MCM King on top. It is definitely all love and extremely foggy. Catch you guys on Wednesday.